I'm Roy from Roy's Garage. Today I'm going to be working on a 2005 Toyota RAV4 2.4 liter automatic. I'm going to show you how to replace the radiator and flush out the cooling system. So as you can see all of this pink dried up antifreeze that's on the seam of the radiator. That's an indication of the radiator is leaking. These are the tools I'm going to be using today to do this job. 3 8 ratchet, 10 millimeter socket, 12 millimeter socket, 14 millimeter socket, quarter inch ratchet, two different length quarter inch extensions, 8 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter ratchet wrench, plier, two different size flat tip screwdrivers, Phillips screwdriver, cotter pin puller, vice grip, my clamp, dielectric grease, anti-seize. This is my gear wrench tool to remove and replace the serpentine belt, flush gun, and my airlift tool to vacuum out the system and install the new antifreeze. These are the parts I'm going to be using today to do this job an upper and lower radiator hose, thermostat, thermostat seal, radiator cap, premixed extended life pink antifreeze, and my radiator. So first we're going to be removing this bracket, but we're going to be unbolting these guys right here. And then unbolting the latch. And there's a metal bracket that goes down. We're going to have to be removing that. So there's another bolt under here what we do is this piece you just got to lift it up over this little piece and then from there pull it now you can get access to the bolt So we're going to be removing the latch. So I'm going to be removing this air intake tube just to get more room. Okay, remove the overflow. So we're going to be removing these two mounts, the rubber mounts. So I'm going to be draining out my coolant. So the drain plug is right here. See that white plug? It's going to be on the driver's side. Just unscrew it. So as the uh, coolant is draining, we're going to be removing these electrical connectors that go to the fan. Just push this button in and then pull it out. Okay. 
So we're gonna be removing the upper holes. So I'm gonna get a razor blade and slit the holes because I'm gonna be putting a new hose on. So I'm gonna go underneath the car. So I'm gonna be removing this bracket and then removing the lower radiator hose. So I'm gonna be removing this plastic piece. So there's three bolts, one, two, and three over here and get two more bolts on the side. So I'm going to be removing this bracket. Okay, so I'm going to be removing this lower radiator hose. So I gotta remove this wire from this bracket. Okay, so I'm gonna be removing the fan, but I gotta remove this wire first. So I'm gonna be Removing this fan, there's two bolts, one here and one here. So you remove that bolt. You just pull it up. Now we can pull the radiator out. Okay, so we're gonna be removing the lower radiator hole that's attached to the thermostat housing on the passenger side. So I'm gonna cut it with my razor blade because we're gonna be putting a new hose. So I'm gonna be removing the thermostat housing. There's one bolt here and one bolt on the bottom. Looks like we can't remove the thermostat housing, so what I'm going to do is move the alternator to get this housing out. So I'm going to be removing the belt and I'm going to be slacking the automatic tensioner with this tool so I can remove the belt. So I'm going to be loosening up the pivot bolt for the alternator. Then there's another bolt down here. I'm going to have to remove that. Then I think we can move the alternator away so I can pull out the thermostat housing. Remove this bracket. So I'm going to be removing the thermostat. 
So I'm going to be putting back my thermostat housing. So I'm going to be bolting up my thermostat housing. So I'm going to be connecting this hose to my thermostat housing to direct the flow of water away from me while I flush out the cooling system. This hose is just a used hose that I got lying around. Then we'll be connecting one on the top. So I'm going to be flushing out the cooling system with air and water. So I'm going to be pumping water to the cooling system right now. Let it fill up and then I'm going to be pulling this trigger so it's going to be pumping in the air at the same time. So I turned off the water so I'm going to be pumping out this cooling system with just air only. So I'm going to be removing the hoses. So I'm going to be removing the thermostat housing again. So I'm going to be putting on a new thermostat. So I'm going to be putting the new seal around the thermostat. Okay, so we're going to be wiping off the block side. So I'm going to be putting on my thermostat. Make sure this bleeder valve is facing the top. Cleaned off the thermostat housing. Use some brake clean and a towel. So before we put it on, I want to put some anti-seize around these bolts. These two, these two bolts. So now we can install the thermostat housing. If you want to put a sealer, you can. From the factory, there's no sealer. So I'm not putting any kind of sealer on. So we're going to tighten it up. So we're going to be bolting up the alternator, be putting on some NICs around my bolt. Putting on this bracket. Okay, so now we're gonna be putting on the serpentine belt. So I'm gonna be clamping the belt to the pulley so it doesn't come off. So 
Okay, so this is the old radiator, so make sure you remove these lower mounts and transfer it to the frame. So now we're going to be removing the other fan. I'm going to be putting on the new radiator. So I'm going to be putting on my lower hose. Okay, so I'll be tightening up the clamp. So underneath the car, I'm going to be tightening up the bottom holes. So I'm going to be putting on the passenger side fan. Putting some anti seize on my bolt. Got two on the top and one on the bottom. And there's one bolt on the bottom. So I'm going to be tightening up these top bolts. So we're going to be putting on the other fan. So the bottom is not bolted on, it's going to be slipping right into the slot. So I'm going to be bolting up my fan, so I put some anti seize around my bolt. So I'm going to be bolting on this bracket. Okay, don't make this one tight yet. We're going to go to the top. So we're going to be putting on the electrical connectors to the fan. Putting in some dielectric grease. So I'm going to be putting the mounts on, the top mounts on the radiator. Now I'm going to be putting on this top bracket. So I'm going to be bolting up this bracket. Put some anti-seize on my bolt. Bolting it up. Okay, I'm going to be putting on five screws one, two, three, four, five. Putting on some anti seize. So I'm going to be bolting up this bracket.
Okay, so be boning up the latch. I'm gonna be tightening up this bracket. I'm gonna be putting back this plastic piece. So I'm going to be removing the coolant recovery tank. I'm going to be flushing it out. So we're going to be putting back the coolant recovery tank. Okay, slip this guy on. So we're going to be putting on the top hose. So we're putting on our air intake. Okay, so I'm going to be putting some anti-seize on my bolt. So now I'm going to be vacuuming out the cooling system. So I have this uh, airlift tool. I'm going to be screwing it on and I'm going to be pulling a vacuum. Okay, I'm going to be crimping this hose. So I'm connecting this to my airlift tool. So I'm going to, with my compressed air, I'm going to be hooking it up to my airlift tool. And now it's going to be drawing a vacuum. You're going to see the hose is all collapsing. So we're drawing about maybe 50, 60 inches of vacuum. So that should be good enough. So I'm going to be shutting off my valve. Disconnecting my airline. Then I'm going to be putting on this, this hose. I got it in the antifreeze, so when I open up the valve, it's going to be sucking in the antifreeze. So you got to be real careful. You don't want this guy to uh, suck all the antifreeze out and go empty and suck air. So when it gets a kind of low, then just switch the bottle. So I'm going to be removing my airlift tool. I'm going to be topping off my radiator with antifreeze. Put a new radiator cap on. So I'm going to be filling up my coolant reservoir. Okay, so I'm going to lower the vehicle. I'm going to start it up and run them through the heat cycle. Okay, so I'm going to start up the vehicle. So I'm going to let the vehicle run through the heat cycle. Let the fan come on maybe two or three times. Then road test the vehicle. And then when you come back, let it cool off. And then check all the fluids and top off whatever necessary. 
Okay, I road tested the vehicle. I let it cool down, topped off the fluid, checked for leaks, everything looks good, all ready to go. If you have any questions, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and i see you in the next video. Aloha.